Is this angle good? Are we good? Okay. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, well, it's good morning because I post in the mornings here. Literally having some oh, very dirty. I'm literally having some hot chocolate in my blessed mug from the Dollar Tree. Yes, indeed, it is. It is hot chocolate, which you probably should not be having at night. Today, we're going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm really excited. I got all my products here laid out for you. The last time that I did one of these routines was quite a while ago. And honestly, my nighttime routine is pretty relaxing and kind of calm and nice. So I'm super, super, super stoked to be able to be giving it to you. I'm going to put some nice relaxing music under this. If you do like skincare related content, please give this a thumbs up and stay tuned because I am going to be doing my morning skincare routine as well, uh, which is going to include a different, a couple different types of sunscreens to cater what best fits for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. I just washed my hands. Of course, I recommend doing that before you touch your face, but anytime that you're in a bathroom, I always recommend washing your hands before you leave. I see some of you guys in public restrooms leaving without washing your hands, especially in the airport. I see it. Foul. Anyway, I just washed mine. I'm gonna go in with my favorite cleansing balm. Now, I know this e.l.f. Holy Hydration is very popular and very loved, but I recently filmed a video about why I will not purchase this again. So instead of raving about something that I don't wanna support, I'm gonna show you something else, but I do have this and I am using it up. But an alternative that honestly is a better price, if you can believe it, is the Sephora brand Melting Cleansing Balm. It looks like this. This one is about $16 during the sale that they have twice a year. If you are a Rouge member like myself, uh, actually, no, just kidding. Because it's a Sephora brand product, everybody gets 30% off no matter who you are or what you are. <laughs> this comes out to be about $12 during the sale. Same price as the e.l.f., but you get double the product. You get 4.22 ounces of product. Same type of product in here, cleansing balm. I love this. It takes off everything, everything on my skin. I don't have anything on right now, just sunscreen from the day. I don't have any tinted sunscreen on, no concealer, no powders, nothing like that. So it's pretty easy. This one is, I believe made in France, but let me find it. Yes, made in France. So definitely something that I'm on board with and support. So let's go ahead and with that, how I like to use it is I like to just have my damp hands. Uh, after washing them, I just leave them damp. I go right into the cleansing. Ooh. I go right into the cleansing balm and I just start to distribute that onto my face. And now we're gonna rinse it off. Now that we're fully rinsed off, I go ahead right in with my second step cleanser. Currently the cleanser that I'm loving is the La Roche-Posay Lipicare Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. Yes, I'm almost out. It's not a clear product. There's barely any left. I do have another one. I just wanna finish every last ounce of this one. Ironically, this product is also made in France. Um, this is a really, really great product. Very good for sensitive skin. It does foam up a little bit, so it is gonna kind of cleanse your skin pretty nicely, but it's very gentle as well. So I think this is great for really any skin type. I'm just pouring out every last bit that I have. We're gonna finish this out today. This will be in an upcoming empties video. I put it together in my hands and I just go ahead and I put that on the face. And you know, like I said, it does foam up a little bit, but it is pretty creamy and gentle. And I think this is great either morning or night. They also have a hydrating cleanser and then they have a foaming cleanser for oily skin. So this one's kind of in between them both. So I really like this, which is why I purchased another one. It's not a bad price either. And so, okay. Now that that's done, I'm just gonna pat my skin very gently, just barely. It's still, you know, it's still pretty damp. It's still pretty wet. I'm gonna go in with a spray. Now this is 
totally unnecessary, I will admit, but this is a product that I bought. This is the Hylamide Sub-Q Mist. It says that it's a toning treatment for water density. It's just a very hydrating mist. So this is also really nice if you pat your skin dry or um, if your face isn't wet. I don't know. <laughs> if you're somebody that likes to, uh, you know, dry their skin and do their skincare a little bit later, this is kind of nice to get on to, to work in with your serum. So I'm just going to spray this onto my damp skin. Mm. Smells really good. It just smells kind of like plants. Very natural. <laughs> Again, not something that you need, but I have it on hand and I'm using it up. And I, I, I do like it, but... It's not anything I would go out of my way to purchase or travel with. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with the Royal Honey Propolis Enriched Essence. This is a moisturizing serum. This is from the brand Skin Food. Now, one of my YouTuber friends, Sarah Beth, was talking about this product on her channel. Sorry, we got cut off. Okay. She was ranting about this and saying that it was so great and that she was really enjoying it. And I was saying, oh my gosh, I literally have this and I forgot about it. Which I think she was in the same situation. So similarly to her, this is a serum that I like, but it's not probably one that I would repurchase. Um, you know, it's moisturizing, it's hydrating, but this product I think is 30 or $40. And you, you don't get a lot of product. I think this is, Maybe 1.7 ounces, 50 mLs. I'm not sure exactly the conversion of that, but not a lot. Um, and like I said, you know, it's hydrating and it comes in a nice glass bottle and it's definitely more of a bougie product, but it's just, I think you'll see similar results from using serums from Ordinary or Geek and Gorgeous or the Inky List. Um, or the newer ones that are available at the drugstore. I just don't really think this one is all that. Which, by the way, I'm gonna do a video shortly talking about new product launches at the drugstore. I don't know who they think they are with these prices. I mean, it's it's borderline crazy. Next up, to seal in that serum, I'm going in with this moisturizer here. I've used this for, I think, over a year now on my channel, and I still really do like this. I am potentially gonna switch it up in the summer, but I just love this product winter or summer. It just works really well for me. And now that it's available on Amazon, you can easily get it. This is the Better Men's Skincare Moisturizer. So they have a serum and a face wash. The moisturizer is my favorite. I really don't like the face wash. I've used it a couple times last summer. It's just not something that I love the texture of. I do like the serum. I've been getting on board with that. I think the serum does have fragrance in it though. But this moisturizer is really nice. It really works with any serum that you're using, which I love. And it just really glides onto the skin very, very nicely. It dries down nice, so it's not shiny or greasy, which I think is really perfect, especially for people that do oily skin but want to and should be moisturizing their skin. This is a great option. And then marketing this towards men, I think is really smart because this is a texture that men I think would really like. Men don't want to feel greasy and oily and whereas right now kind of the trend for women is this like glowy glass skin look. I, I don't really see a lot of men following that trend but I do see men getting more into skincare which is great. So this is a product that like I said can go both ways. I think it's great men or women. I don't think it you know but it, the, the company better is marketing it towards men and I think men would really like this. So I like it. Another thing that you can do is you can mix in an oil with this to give that glowy look or to get the softening benefits of an oil. Now currently while I'm filming this, it is March and it has been cold, rainy, snowy, <laughs> not the best weather, it's been very dry. So I'm gonna go in on top of that, but sometimes I do mix it straight in the moisturizer I'm going to go in with the Ordinary's 100% plant-derived squalane oil. Now, I really like this. I'm actually going to mix it just to show you guys what that process looks like if you're unfamiliar. So, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this moisturizer, whoa, right on the back of my hand. 
And then we're gonna go in with the oil. Now the oil, okay, here's how, here's how we're gonna do it. The oil is clear, okay? Just gonna do a couple drops, you don't really need much. Just going to blend that on the back of my hand, okay? And just apply it. Mostly starting here, you can really see the glow kind of now coming through because of that oil. We're gonna keep it mostly down in this area. And then we're gonna take the remaining and put it up a little bit further. Okay, we're almost done. Now I'm gonna go in with the CeraVe Healing Ointment. I'm using this to slug. Sometimes I'll put this other places, but I predominantly, just stick in my finger there, I predominantly put this on my lips and I put it on my eyes as well, right under there. I don't notice that this gets on my pillows. I don't feel it in the morning because um, sometimes I don't always shower or wash my face in the morning. And I don't, I don't feel this, but if I know that I'm not gonna shower in the morning, I usually don't put this on because it is a little greasy. Just very hydrating. And then for my last step, now that my skin has fully absorbed everything, I go in with my tretinoin. I'm using 0.05%. And this is a product that at least in the United States, you do have to get from your dermatologist. This is essentially retinoic acid. Um, if you don't have access, you could use an over-the-counter retinol, or you could get adapalene, which is available in the drugstores. And this is good for anti-aging. I put it everywhere on my forehead. Pretty much put it everywhere except for my eyes, where I just slugged. And I take whatever is remaining on my hands, and I just slide it down my neck. I don't specifically put it on my neck, because the neck skin is very, very thin, but any excess, go ahead. So that is my nighttime skincare routine currently. I will do an updated one when and if it changes in the summer, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and I hope that you guys sleep well tonight. Let me know down below what's your favorite product that you're using right now and do you use any of these products? Thanks so much for your support. We'll talk soon. Bye.